I make soap in small batches just for my own use. I start off uh, measuring all the ingredients that I use for it uh, by weight. And it's pretty much just going to be distilled water, technical lye, which is drain cleaner, basically. There's a food grade lye if you want to make something really pure. And then fats and oils. Uh, I always put the lye into the water in my bathroom sink because then I can close the door and turn on the exhaust fan because it does give off some fumes that you do not want to be breathing. Uh, and there's also a chance that it could spill or break the bowl. It gets very hot as the lye dissolves. You don't want to ever use anything, especially aluminum, when making soap because it will react with the lye. So I use a uh, enameled uh, stoneware crock pot and of course the glass bowl that I put the lye water in. And as I said before, you just want to measure everything out nice and precisely as possible because this is chemistry as much as anything else. There's actually a very particular reaction in chemistry referred to as saponification reactions, which basically means just soap making, in which something caustic like lye reacts with fats and oils to uh, make something water soluble out of the fats that were not, no, not water soluble to start with. So after the oils have had a chance to melt and the lye water has a chance to cool down, I want it to be pretty much cool so that this reaction doesn't happen too fast. I'll pour them together and while the crock is still being heated I'll go ahead and use a, a stick blender to mix it all up. And you're gonna mix it until it starts to get thick. It'll feel sort of like a cake batter. This is what soap makers call trace. And if you're doing cold process soap, this is where you get off the crazy drain, add your um, whatever additive you want into it and fragrance, go ahead and pour it in a mold and leave it to sit for two weeks. But I like to do hot process soap, which is basically keep cooking it and the reaction happens a lot faster. So instead of two weeks, I'll have this soap turned into soap within an hour, put it in the mold and then it'll stay overnight in the mold to cool down and set and then the next morning I can actually cut it and use it as soap. So this reaction goes through several stages. At first it starts to gel, thicken up, and it almost gets to be like uh, like a heavy custard or a uh, cheesecake sort of consistency. <laughs> Then it'll start to bubble up and it starts to look sort of like a cake that's baking. Um, as you get a lot of the bubbles of water vapor cooking out of it. And it gets to be a dull color then. It doesn't look as much like oils anymore. It starts to smell like soap usually at this point. But it's not done yet. It's got to go all the way through this process to where it stops bubbling up as much. And I'll start pretty much constantly during this so that it doesn't boil over because I have had it boil over and there's nothing quite like the mess made by boiling over something that's still caustic and greasy but partially so. So you'll cook it until it starts to get, as you stir it, you'll start to see it get shiny again and glossy and sort of looks waxy and if you take a little bit out and cool it down it actually feels like wax, it doesn't feel oily there's another test, you can touch your tongue to it. And if it feels like a, a zing, like you just touched your tongue to a 9 volt battery, then it's not done yet because that's the, what lye feels like. So I have a, a mold made out of just 1x4s. It's about, I think, 11 inches long. And I line it with the same plastic I use for um, transferring leather patterns, for carving patterns. It's uh, just a tracing film, vellum type material. Mylar or something like that would probably work too. And I've just cut the piece and shaped it to where I tape it together and put it into the mold. And 
And once you stir in whatever fragrances or whatever you're going to use in it, it's pretty much as simple as that. You just spread it out into the mold. Come back the next day when it's cool. And you can take it out and peel off the plastic. And then take and use a knife to cut it into bars. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's making soap. People have been doing this for centuries in varying degrees.